In this video, we're going to take a deep dive into the new Jackery 5000 Plus solar generator in their first smart home panel. If you followed our channel, you know I cover these types of units for preparedness. And these units provide a unique option for those wanting something that can integrate directly into their home's power system, providing an instant power backup option should the grid go down. Now, unlike smaller portable power solutions we've covered here on the channel, this is designed with whole home backup in mind. So if you're in an area prone to power outages, concerned about disasters, potential long-term grid down situations, or just want to save power on your electricity bill by powering select lines, this unit can keep your home running without the hassle of traditional gas-powered systems. In this video, we're going to run through the details of the unit. We'll show how it can practically be used. We'll look at how it stacks up against the competition. And at the end, I'll give you my thoughts after having tested all the options on the market for these out-of-the-box whole home power options. So let's get into the details. The Jackery 5000 Plus has a 5 kilowatt hour capacity per unit. Now, that might sound like just a number, so let's put it into perspective. A typical refrigerator uses around 1 to 2 kilowatt hours over the course of a full day. So with the 5000 Plus, you could theoretically keep your fridge running for multiple days on a single charge, depending on other power needs. But what sets this 5000 Plus apart is that the unit is fully expandable. You can link multiple units together and increase your capacity to 30 kilowatt hours or even up to 60 kilowatt hours if you're using two units. To put that into context, a house running on 60 kilowatt hours could potentially keep essential appliances like your refrigerator, your lights, and communication devices running for over a week in the event of an extended outage. And while the capacity is impressive, the real defining feature here is the ability to integrate into your home's electrical system. Speaking of your home's electrical system, let's talk about the smart transfer panel. Essentially, what this switch does is allow the Jackery 5000 to take over automatically when the power from the grid goes down. There's no manual start, no running outside to turn on the generator or refuel it. Now let's take a closer look at how this works on a technical level. The 5000 Plus provides 7200 watts of output from a single unit, which is enough to run most household appliances. But if you need more power for larger loads, say you're running an electrical heater or you're running multiple high power devices, you can pair two units together for a combined output of 14,400 watts. That's where the dual voltage comes in handy. Most homes use 120 volts for standard outlets, but larger appliances like stoves, dryers, and HVAC systems, they use 240 volts. The 5000 Plus is capable of providing both, making it a versatile option for whole home backup. Now, let's take a closer look at the physical setup of the Jackery 5000 Plus. On the front of the unit, you've got your switches to control the AC, USB and DC outputs. It's all right there, making it really easy to manage power to different devices. You also have the DC input with MC4 connectors for plugging in solar panels so you can charge the unit directly from the sun. On the side, you'll find the AC input where you can charge it from a wall outlet when you're not relying on solar. Around the back, you've got the exhaust vents to keep the unit cool during operation, and there's a sturdy set of wheels and a pull handle on the bottom for easy transport. Even though this unit is built for whole home backup, it's still portable enough to move around the house or garage. Now, as for the electrical integration, we've got one circuit setup that connects directly to the main subpanel. That's where power from the generator comes in when the grid is down. There are other open circuit slots, which gives you the option to move more circuits over as needed, giving you flexibility depending on what you want to keep powered. You can even manage this remotely using the Jackery app. It's designed to handle larger household appliances. When you pair two units together, you're looking at 14,400 watts, that's critical in both summer and winter, especially if you're dealing with long-term power outages. For those working with power tools, the generator has you covered there as well. It can run table saws, circular saws, even welders without any issues. And if you're setting up an off-grid workshop or just doing some home projects during an outage, you can count on the 5000 Plus to handle heavy-duty tools like a drill press, a grinder, or even a large air compressor. And that gives you the flexibility to keep working, whether you're off the grid or just dealing with power outages. One of the biggest advantages of the system is the seamless integration with solar energy. And if you've used portable generators before, you know the constant refueling that can become a challenge. Gas, propane, or diesel generators are great for short-term outages, but they can be impractical for longer-term power needs due to fuel availability and safety concerns. This is where the Jackery 5000 Plus really shines. It's optimized for solar input and can handle up to 4,000 watts of solar charging through high-voltage PV panels. One important thing to note about the solar charging is that the 5000 Plus is compatible with a wider range of solar panels and not just Jackery's own solar panels. This means you can integrate other solar panels you might already own as long as they meet the system's voltage and amperage requirements. It accepts up to 4000 watts of solar input, which is significantly higher than most solar generators on the market. 
And that flexibility is great for people who want to expand their setup over time or who already have an established off-grid system in place. Plus with the built-in MPPT technology, the 5000 Plus optimizes the solar input even in less than ideal conditions like cloudy days or during the early morning and late afternoon hours when sunlight is not as strong. And this ensures you're getting the most efficient charge possible no matter what time of the day or weather. And it's not just the solar input that makes this generator practical for home use. The Jackery app allows you to monitor your energy consumption in real time. It's useful for tracking your power usage, especially during emergencies when managing power becomes critical. The app shows you how much energy you're consuming, how much solar input you're receiving, and the current charge level of the generator. You can also control the power output remotely over Wi-Fi, which is ideal if you're wanting to manage it as part of a larger home backup system. For instance, you might want to reduce power consumption overnight by turning off non-essential devices without having to physically be there with the device. Now let's talk about the noise level. One of the main complaints about traditional gas generators is noise. And this can be loud, sometimes as much as 70 to 90 decibels, which can be disruptive, especially if you're using them in close proximity to your living space or neighbors. Right. Additionally, it alerts others around you that you've got resources. And the Jackery 5000 Plus operates at just around 30 decibels at 500 watts of output, which is about as quiet as a normal conversation. And this makes it ideal for indoor use and you don't have to worry about attracting unwanted attention or fumes. Speaking of fumes, one thing that often gets overlooked in these discussions is the safety aspect. When disasters impact regions, it's often not the event itself, but rather in the aftermath with carbon monoxide poisoning being the leading cause due to people improperly running generators near their homes. The Jackery 5000 Plus removes that element entirely. It produces zero emissions, making it safe for indoor use. In terms of portability, while the 5000 Plus is a larger unit designed for home backup, it's still relatively easy to move around. It comes with wheels and a pull handle, so you can shift it around as you need it. And while we're on the topic of safety, let's talk about the UPS, or Uninterruptible Power Supply functionality. For those who rely on medical devices or sensitive electronics, power interruptions can be dangerous. This unit has a zero millisecond transfer time, meaning if the grid goes down, the generator takes over instantly. There is no disruption in power. Your devices stay powered, which is critical if you're running life-saving medical or security equipment. So here are my final thoughts on this unit and how it stacks up against the competition. Um, I recently did a video comparing the various whole home units on the market before I filmed this video. If I could go back and do that video from several weeks ago with this unit, I would point out a few things about this one. Number one is that Jackery has done a great job with the solar input on this. Um, this is the first model of theirs from Jackery that I've tested with MC4 connectors and it also accepts 4,000 watts. If you go back and check a lot of their units, they have eight millimeter ports, which are not necessarily proprietary, but this unit, again, follows more of a standard approach for solar input, which I found to be a really, really good thing. They also took the approach of two solar inputs. One is a high PV and one's a low. Now on the high, they went with a high voltage, which allows for you to connect your existing rooftop mounted panels in series. And this is a big step for Jackery. They also have a low PV input on the side as well with the eight millimeter ports that they typically have on their units. Now, the second thing about this unit that's really unique is that it also ties into their smart panel. So the advantage here is that if you have this connected to the grid, it would switch over automatically in zero milliseconds, which is a true UPS ability. Now, one thing that we didn't show on the smart panel is we configured it to only have one circuit. The reason we took this approach because we wanted to keep all of our circuits in the sub panel because we do a lot of testing on that sub panel with other units. But if you wanted to, you can move individual circuits into their smart panel, which gives you the ability to control each panel remotely via their app. So think about it. If you had a line where if the grid goes down and you want to be able to control which circuits get priority priority, you can define that. Now, the third thing is, uh, this is the fourth company that I've tested that has introduced a smart home panel that integrates directly into their unit. The other four are Anchor, Blue Eddy, and EcoFlow. All right, so speaking of competition, the closest model to this is the Anchor F3800. They're very similar in their abilities and even the form factor of the design, the way they stand up vertically. But as I pointed out in my recent video on these units, Anchor went with their, for their PV input, they went with a low voltage, high amperage PV connection, which while technically there's nothing wrong with it, most of the inverters on the market for whole home units, they go with a series connection, which leans toward high voltage and low amperage. If I was in the market for a unit that I wanted to get 
from a company which is a reputable brand. And when I did that video earlier this year where I compared various solar generators, that's one of the things I pointed out is you need to look at reputable brands. There's so many that are flooding the market right now that are trying to do what this unit does, but they may be from a company that may or may not be there tomorrow. And so what I'm encouraging my audience to do is just look at the primary companies, again, the ones that we've covered on that comparison video that we did this spring, or not this spring, but I think it was this summer, and Jackery obviously was one of them. Now, Jackery, they have the largest market share in the solar generator industry. It's So it's a solid option. If you're concerned about making sure that you go with a brand that has a, rep, a strong reputation is gonna be around for a long time, then Jackery's a good company to work with. I did run my entire house where I have my studio and my office. I ran it for the last several weeks without any issues using the Jackery 5000. I have solar panels on the uh, roof and I was able to power that house for several weeks straight without any issues. So. Again, if you haven't already, I would encourage you to go back and check out that whole home solar generator video after you see this one. The reason being is because in the first 20 minutes or so, I go into a lot of detail about all the factors that you need to consider. And it really takes, I took time to educate my audience on all the considerations you need to know before you buy a unit like this one. And I think you'll learn a lot from that video if you go back and watch it. And when you go back and watch this video again, if you do afterwards, you're gonna be able to understand it a whole lot better all the units that we went through and described. So if you're interested in checking out this unit, I'm gonna post a link in the description and comment section below. And let me know if you have any questions as well. As always, stay safe out there.